Now we move on to the topic two that is about uh, what is the kind of an approach we can follow to maintain an industrial relation. So when we talk about approaches to industrial relation is nothing but what are the kind of techniques and what are the kind of routes through which you know we try to maintain an industrial relation. So there are different kind of you know, methods have been adopted. Uh, a very common kind of a method, uh, generally you know we can broadly classify these approaches into three major types. One is your unitary way and the next one is a pluralistic way and the third one is a massist way. So let's look at what is this unitary way. Unitary way is nothing but you know, uh, it's, it's like uh, the employer try to be more autocratic and uh, you know by exercising a uh, kind of rules and regulations and HR department time to time come out of the policies and the administrations and other things and all. So through that process and the procedure they try to you know probably implement uh, the rules and regulations automatically they expect an employees to follow. So that's what exactly unitary way that means a unidirectional where the from the employer side they try to you know probably come out with a kind of a very fair way of uh, policies and systems and procedures and rules and regulations whereas the second kind of thing is a pluralistic way in a pluralistic way uh, you know what happens is like there is a conflict might arise either from the employer side or an employee side and they try to you know probably coerce, coerce uh, uh, through the you know mediation when we talk about coercion it's nothing but you know using a third party they try to you know probably uh, tribunal committee they'll form and then try to that you know through that they try to resolve the problem and outcome is actually you know you try to come out of the regulation formed by the entire three committees one steering committee one on the employer side and on the other side employee side so these are the ways you try to you know probably work out a social kind of a system that's what exactly you know uh, your uh, pluralistic way so that means both the side uh, equally you know they come out with a kind of an uh, you know rules and regulations and the third one is a Marxist uh, kind of a thing Marxist the name itself implies it's more of a social and there is an you know evolution happens there is a resolution happens and way of you know control of the entire labor process using an you know proper uh, you know socialistic kind of an approach where uh, ultimately you know entire wealth has to be divided among all the people that means you know even the profit and other things equally it has to be shared with the employees as well as an employer so that's kind of an approach you know Marxist uh, talks about now let's try to look at each of this in detail so let's come to the unitary perspective uh, under the unitary perspective the basic assumptions will be like uh, it's more of a capitalistic society where uh, you know the company try to you know through the HR policies they try to control the entire process and integrating the group of people within the work organization with a common kind of a value common interest and a common kind of an objective but very fair way they would be designing it and uh, during the you know joining of the employee uh, to the organization itself they'll agree to that and they'll simply follow that that's the way they'll be looking at and the nature of conflict and a resolution what it can happen is like uh, you know uh, it could be an irrational and abhorrent kind of a system that is straying from the path and uh, they will try to you know probably they may not agree to certain kind of a rules and regulations if there is conflict uh, there are frictional and personal kind of a conflict can ha happen and uh, there is a coercion coercion in this sense it's kind of a force or a pat uh, you know paternalism limiting freedom through our regulations all this thing kind of kind of a thing can happen that means you know people employee might feel that through regulations their operations have been restricted that kind of an you know error or a conflict can happen and role of trade union is actually you know uh, it's like more from outside they will try to intrude into this particular process and then try to uh, resolve the problem and uh, historical and anachronism uh, can happen relating to a wrong kind of a period and uh, management only forced to you know accept trade unions in an economic relations that means you know more into economic related and money and sharing the profit and those kind of an areas you know they try to you know probably the trade union will be more involved with so that's the way unitary perspective works on pluralistic perspective uh, the basic assumption of a pluralistic perspective is uh, you know post uh, what you call it as your capitalistic society where relatively you know widespread distribution of power and authority within the society so that's a way actually you know it separates the ownership from uh, you know management and separation actually you know acceptance and institutionalize of institutionalizing the political and industrial conflict and uh, that's a way if you look into it you know they try to come out with a uh, sectional group within the organization 
they will direct the values they will form a third party organization through that you know entire interest and objectives have been set and it's a competent uh, you know kind of a competitive kind of an authority and the loyal structure will be there and the nature of conflict and the resolution could be whether the really you know the third party whatever kind of a thing they come out with is it rational or inevitable so that uh, you know there the uh, conflict can arise it could be in the form of structure in the form of institutionalizing in the form of compromising negotiation and agreement uh, there could be you know conflict can arise and the role of trade union is actually you know basically on the legitimate power as accepted as both economic and managerial relation and uh, internal and integral to you know organization so these are the kind of a role uh, the trade union uh, effectively play and uh, other kind of a marxist we already discussed it's about more of a social approach where you know they try to look at uh, how equally the wealth has been uh, you know divided to a different different people and other than that there are different other kind of an approaches uh, been followed in industrial relation so one is your psychological approach psychological approach try to understand the psychology of the employees and trade unions and accordingly you know trying to provide a best kind of an output uh, you know basically the psychological approach uh, could be like le let's say like you know the thinking process and the demand and try to you know probably psychologically trying to you know probably do the uh, what do you call it as a consultation and the providing in you know right kind of an uh, uh, what do you call it as a, a counseling and second kind of an approach is a sociological approach sociological approach uh, they try to you know look at uh, what is the kind of a benefit society in a society they are looking at and they try to you know satisfy that requirement and the third one is your human relation approach where you try to you know build a very good human relations and through the relations they try to you know control the thing and the other one is socio ethical approach where what is legitimate for a society and ethically you know they try to provide that that's the way they do it and gandhian approach is more of an you know non violence and uh, not getting into any kind of another uh, violent kind of an activity through that they try to control the process and the other one is a systems approach where legitimately you try to build a system and uh, you expect all the stakeholders including an employer and an employee to follow the systems and through that you know you try to resolve the uh, industrial relations so these are the ways actually you know you can uh, come out with uh, managing the entire industrial relation or approaches for an industrial relations